The Anabaptists made life-changing decisions based on what they found in the Bible. They spent hours and hours searching the Bible to find the truth. Before their execution, persecutors tormented them, hoping they would turn away from their beliefs. Many stood their ground, even through terrible beatings. They believed with all their hearts that the Bible was the Word of God and that it was the truth. Menno Simons was a priest in the Roman Catholic Church. He was, for the most part, a pretty ordinary priest. He did the things he was supposed to do. He read the proper sermons at their proper times. He baptized babies, married young couples, and buried the dead. His duties as a priest didn't take all his time. He spent his evenings playing cards, drinking alcohol, and eating with his friends. It was a good life. While Menno enjoyed the good life of the priesthood, there were others who were challenging some of the basic teachings of the Catholic Church. Menno laughed at them. He really could not understand why they would bother. After all, life was pretty good where he was. An execution in a neighboring village sent Menno to the Bible. Zika Friedrichs, a simple tailor with little education and no priestly authority, was executed for believing the Bible taught that to be a true follower of Christ, one had to be baptized as an adult, not as an infant. The Catholic Church believed that baptism as an infant gave the assurance of salvation. The simple tailor believed in adult baptism so strongly that even though he had been baptized as an infant, he asked to be baptized as an adult against the authority of the Catholic Church. His execution served as an example to others who believed the same thing. Challenging the Church's authority brought severe repercussions. Menno, somewhat confused by such a radical stand, turned to the Bible. Even though he had received his education in a Catholic monastery, he had never opened the Bible. All his ideas came from teachings of the church fathers. He simply accepted them as true. He searched and searched for confirmation of infant baptism. The scriptures were silent. Menno struggled with the passion of Zika Friedrich's faith. To die for what one believed? To leave one's home, family, and friends? To leave the luxury of the parish house? The luxury of the position and authority of being a priest? To die simply because you believe in God's word? Menno became convinced there were discrepancies between the teachings of the church and the Bible. Even though he believed that the Bible was the word of God, he was not willing to give up the ease of priestly life. So week after week, he continued to teach the people what he himself had come to believe was false. As he reflected on his hesitancy to take a stand for the truth he had found in the Bible, he said, relying on grace, I did evil. I was a carefully whitened sepulcher. Outwardly before men, I was moral, chaste, generous. There was none that reproved my conduct, but inwardly I was full of dead men's bones. I sought mine own ease and my praise more zealously than thy righteousness, honor, truth, and thy word. As the Anabaptist movement took shape, many leaders, although preaching with fervor, were misguided. Menno believed he had the truth, yet he did not leave his comfortable station to teach those who were looking for truth. In 1535, a group of 300 people, Munsterites they were called, acted on their misguided faith. They seized an old monastery in revolt against the state church. They were captured. 130 people were slain on the spot. The other 170 men and women died by public execution. While Menno believed the truth he found in the Bible was contradictory to what he taught as a priest, up to now, he did not have the courage to step out of the comfort the priestly life offered. Yet, these people, having only the passion of faith, gave up their lives. 
Menno came to God broken, tearful, and finally obedient. He resigned from his position and became a leading teacher among those looking for the truth. Menno did lose the comfort of his past life, but he gained the confidence and peace of living in the truth.